What are the top 10 worst band names of bands that are actually pretty great? We're gonna rank these guys up. Let's start it off with Nicolas Cage Fighter. Ratio of terrible band name to fantastic music is pretty close to one here. I love their latest record, The Bones That Grew From Pain. Some of the best hardcore inspired extreme metal of 2022 by far. This album reminded me of the golden age of metalcore in New England, man, in the early 2000s, but with a ton of fresh energy. And plus our boy, Dave Kaminsky, mixed this record. As a poet, I think that this is actually a pretty clever name. It kind of works on a couple of different levels. There's Johnny Cage, Nicholas Cage, Cage Fighter. There's kind of all these elements like wrapped into this. This is a good name for a band and they deliver good music. So I put it at B. Yeah, I mean, I could see that. I have them at A. So let's start them at a B. All right. Because there's always room to go up. Let's, let's good... start with B. Yeah. That's a band name where you're like, God, I have to check this out. Yeah, what exactly. What the hell does this sound like? <laughs> Baby Metal. This is a super niche band, but there's no denying how important Baby Metal is in the metal genre, bringing cutesy Japanese pop culture into metal. Sure, it's not for everyone, including us, but you can't help but wonder what's it all about with the name and the lineup itself, right? Ultimately, it makes people curious, and there's a whole anime metal overlap that fans love. I respect that. This is one of those bands that I personally don't like. I don't really understand why they got so huge but you know looking back from a 20,000 foot perspective I absolutely can't understand how they got so huge They are a great bridge between, you know, a culture that is embracing not only their love for metal, but also things in the pop world. So I don't really like this band. I don't want cutesy anime music from Japan, and I want mystical avant-garde shit like Psy. Their latest album was unbelievable. I actually like it more than when I first listened to it. I put them at D just because I don't like them. I have them at D too. Stupid band name, but kind of okay music. So yeah, I'm going to put them down at D. I put bad name, bad music, but I, I get it. I, I get yeah. it. Unleash the Archers. Honestly though, this is kind of a, this is a dumb band name because you, how do you unleash the Archers? You might assemble them. Mm. You might rally the archers mm. they're ranged attackers you don't <laughs> unleash them but i digress anyways this band is unfucking believable at what they do they are so talented killer music amazing music videos with a ton of production ridiculously tight performances live one of the best power metal bands doing the genre today to be honest This is one of the best power metal bands of the modern era right now. Definitely a lazy name, but you kind of almost get like a sense of what you're going to get into. When I see the word archers, I assume, oh, power metal. Unleashing them, eh, I'd choose another verb. <laughs> I have them at A. I think A is totally warranted. Okay. This was a total surprise for me because our boy Papa Trenches put this one on our radar. Callus Dow Boys. This band blew my freaking mind. Dude. They're fucking wild, dude. Definitely wild. Really stupid band name. But I get the dumb name in math metal is kind of part of the shtick, right? Part of the reason why people want to check out bands in math metal is because it's wacky and wild and kind of all over the place. But with a band name like Callus Dow Boys, people are going to go like, what the hell is this? And check it out. Celebrity Therapist no doubt is easily one of the best metal albums of this year for good reason it's fucking amazing there's been a hole in our hearts especially mine since dillinger hasn't really been making much music these guys are doing their own fresh thing with it man yeah definitely i put bad name good music ladies and gentlemen at one point in time the dallas cowboys were the biggest football team in the country this was like 30 years ago though. I think the music from this band is definitely top tier shit, but the name, it's, it's clever, but also a bit dated. I have them pretty high up actually, because yeah. they are so good and the band name is stupid. We'll, we'll go for A then, yeah. That's one of the reasons why Unleash the Archers is up there too, because really stupid band name, but awesome freaking music.
This is gonna make some people mad, but it I don't really care. I don't care. This is me not caring. Tool, not a huge fan of Tool, to be honest. Sue me, I don't really care. <laughs> I've been kind of over them for years. I kind of blame Pandora for that. Wow, time. I never thought about that, dude. Like, like every, every other Pandora song. Pandora playlist, they're like, <laughs> do you like Tool? <laughs> you wanna hear Tool, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I'll be like Cannibal Corpse, and they're like, here's Tool. <laughs> Pandora ruined it for me. Maynard also, as a person, kind of puts a bad taste in my mouth, but I have a lot of respect for what the band does and has done for the scene. Tool is a really stupid band name, but you can't deny that their music is good enough to at least land them in the middle. I agree. I put that this was an okay name with, you know, good music. I don't hate the name. I think that they did a really cool job, like, utilizing the wrench shaped like a dick on a lot of their, like, merchandise and art. I thought that that was a nice little play on the words. Obviously, this band has generated some of the greatest industrial prog songs of our generation, but they're not relevant anymore. They are not relevant, and even their last album was like, oh, okay, another two album, that's fine. People were like, oh! They're not relevant anymore, sorry. Yeah, but, the last album wasn't even good. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, middle of the pack. I have meant C. C? Perfect. Yeah. Harakiri for the sky. I don't really know how the sky is going to commit seppuku. <laughs> This band is pretty fucking phenomenal. Mixing emotional atmospheric black metal, melodic doom, and hardcore tinged vocals into something that just hits really hard in the feels. It's a killer band and music, but they're sort of dumb band name, I would feel like. Puts them kind of high on this list. So I have them at B. I have them at A. I put that they have a good name and great music. Harakiri is the name, if you don't know, for ritualistic suicide and samurai culture. Okay, well, you got my attention with that. I mean, given the themes that the band talks about, mental health, mysticism, nature, the void, I think it's really the perfect band name. How can you do it for the sky or how can the sky perform Harakiri? I put them at A. I think that this is one of the bands I really love on this list. We already have two bands at A. By the way, our criteria, one in S, two in A, the rest or whatever. We can move some stuff Let's around. Put them at B for now. But yeah. they are definitely at least a B in terms yes. of dumb band name with great music. I absolutely love this band. I was much more of a fan of their previous name, Idle Hands, but obviously that was completely out of their control and they had to change it because of legal reasons. Unto Others is okay, but what drives me nuts about it is it's awkward to say, and the spelling looks like Untoothers. You know, like when I look at their t-shirts and stuff, it just, it, it drives me nuts. Like my brain combines the words for some reason. Amazing music though. They belong pretty high on the list. When I first saw the name change on social media, I was like, what the hell is an untoother? And I cannot get that out of my head. If you combine them, they're still kind of an awkward name. They really are the premier rock goth metal group of our time. A or B, I think, is pretty good yeah, call for Yeah, we're gonna them. have a fight in the A tier, man. There's, yeah, man. There's too many good bands in there. Yeah, we're gonna have to battle at the end of, like, what belongs in A. I, and we have a couple more really good bands to talk about. This is sort of an underground pick, and this one came across our radar on our underground spotlight list that we do on Bandcamp every month where we pick bands from the underground that you guys should hear. This one is Bear Mace. We discovered this band, like I said, in our deep dives on Bandcamp. They're doing some fucking awesome old school death metal under a kind of placeholder name in my opinion. <laughs> but it's at least unique enough to make people remember, like us. I mean, there's so many death metal bands, you're gonna remember Bear Mace. I love that you have placeholder name because that really is, is like the perfect description. It's like it got through from like the prototype stage and they're like, oh shit, it's still called Bear Mace. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly though, their 2020 record is ultimate bolt thrower worship. I love that shit. Let's drop Tool down to D and then throw Bear Mace into B or C. So we'll do that yeah. for now. This is actually kind of tough. Yeah, this is tougher than I would have anticipated. Dead, 
I think we're both going to be on the same page for this one. <laughs> this one's not that hard. <laughs> Between the Buried and Me. This name drives me crazy because it's basically a really long way of just saying dirt or earth. It's like a synonym, basically. <laughs> yeah, you're just, just, it's like you're playing charades and you're like, you get the word dirt on a card and it's like, Between the Buried and Me. <laughs> you're, you know, you're trying to get them to say the word dirt or earth. And that's what this band name kind of feels like to me. But contrast that with their fucking unreal discography. Yeah. Like literally not a bad album. This is a mouthful. God damn it. No wonder why their whole fan base calls them BT Bam. <laughs> That's what everyone knows them as who knows the band. Seriously, though, this is the fucking greatest band on this list. Eat it, Tool fans. Yeah, um, with the worst name, too. Yeah, so. exactly. S tier for sure. <laughs> I, I love that we both were just like, yeah, we're kind of flip-flopping on everything else, but S tier, easily for Between the Bear yeah, and Me. No, no fucking doubt on that one. <laughs> Ice Nine Kills. The name itself is derived from the story Cat's Cradle from Kurt Vonnegut. And I guess that's okay, but I'm kind of dumbfounded why the band would build its entire horror shtick around it. It's a little bland in my opinion. It's memorable, easy to say, which is cool. It kind of rolls off the tongue, but it's kind of elementary sounding against their horror Hollywood sound. I have a ton of respect for the music though. Not my thing, but you know, there's no doubt that this band isn't doing really important things and they belong on the list. Yeah, they're definitely another one of those bridge bands that I kind of put in like baby metal tier where it's like it's for other people, maybe not necessarily me, but it's definitely one of those bands that like people will latch on to and then maybe discover more extreme things that they sure. like. I love literature shout outs. I actually didn't know it was a Kurt Vonnegut reference. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't really care for this band. So, so. I think we can put them in baby metal tier. Sorry for the last part of bringing you down. Now, let's meet our criteria. I think we're fine with S. I think S is no doubt. I think Unleash the Archers belongs in A. Yeah, I'm not going to argue against that one. They are one of the more premier bands in this list. Bear Mace is fine. I'm fine with them at C because their discography, they only have like one album, basically. So yeah. they're not like, you know, a premier <laughs> band. It really is that fucking good. <laughs> um, shit, man. Uh, can I can I propose one thing? Propose. I think Unto Others is better than Catalyst Cowboys. Yeah. From the fact that it resonates with both of us really well. Mm -hmm. And the band name is equally as stupid as Callous Cowboys, <laughs> but I feel like Unto Others music is better. I agree. For me. Yeah, I connect more with Unto Others. And I'm I'm pretty new to Callous Cowboys. Thank you, Papa Trenches. I think that's a good swap. All right. Let's that's we're gonna swap them. Look at that. There we go. I'm actually fine with that. I think that's fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How would you rank these terrible band names that make good or great or important music? Let us know down in the comments. Go with the gods, Forge Meats. Don't get sucked between the buried and me. Remember the dirt. See you guys next time. <laughs>